Enough of that. Welcome to Zerxank Says. I'm Zerxank. I'm not sure why or how, but my hair looks fucking ridiculous. Let's just get on with this. This is the relative usefulness and scales of meaning. Relative usefulness, scales, and meaning of life. I'm not sure what that means or what, because I wrote this like a couple of days ago. But essentially, delving into like you know, very, very, very basic principles of philosophy and thought exercise, I just wrote a bunch of questions down, then some suggestions, and then some more questions. So I wrote down this What do we do? What should we do? What's our purpose? What's the meaning of life? What's the point of existing? What can we do? And why should we do that? Who benefits from an action? How long do they benefit? What is a useful action? Why is it useful? The main topic here is human survival is important for humans why is it important? I'm establishing that um, humans find survival to be important through like a genetic reason or whether they have a spiritual reason or, or whatever. I'm exploring into that. We assume that that's to be the case. For all of these thoughts, I assume that the physical universe and the possible other universes are all we have. There is no afterlife, no gods, no heavens. There is no such thing as universal good or evil, and no right and wrong. Particles in matter just move around, and that's all the universe is. Just things happening, entropy, uh, continuation of just stuff. It's just the sum of energy, and uh, that's it. There's nothing more to it than that. Everything else we're constructing with our minds, and uh, really abstracting reality, because reality is complicated, but simple. So, if we understand the universe is based on physical laws, and it expands uh, so much that energy is so spread that eventually life and computers won't be able to function. Uh, temperatures reaches absolute zero everywhere. This is th called the heat death of the universe, which means that the universe eventually essentially dies and there's no record of us ever existing nothing ever existing, ever. It's just a dead universe. It can't do anything. So if we value human survival so much, then we need to find a way to escape the universe before it dies, basically. Our ultimate quest is to, uh, is to escape this universe that's destined to die eventually. That means the only way to keep fulfilling the human survival desire is to keep surviving for eternity which can only be done by that you know you, you want to live on forever everyone wants to live on forever some people feel satisfied once they've done something uh, in their life a big achievement and they don't mind dying like well I'm you know I, I can die now and I can I can rest easy I'm happy I've done I've, I've finished with life I've achieved everything I wanted to and uh, that's it we as a collective species can only achieve that if we can continue on our legacy forever to infinity and beyond. <laughs> uh, so let's assume that we can't do that. That means life and technology will all be dead forever at some point. Everything we've ever done, gone forever. Everything we'll ever do in the future, eventually just gone, erased, nothing left of it. Scary thought. Uh, which means, technically, technically that means 
There's no point in even trying now. That sounds like a really negative thought, but it's actually just logical. Logical thought. You know? Things are going to end eventually, so why even get to that stage? Why even try to get to that stage? Well, I guess some people would disagree and say that it's worth trying, because you never know. You could eventually succeed at becoming immortal and uh, living past the heat death of the universe. But that's on an individual human scale. I'm talking about on a universal human species scale. Right now, we're only sticking around because we have our personalities and we're being stubborn. You know, not everyone is going to agree that logically, if, if, if you try and explain to somebody the best thing you could do right now is kill yourself, if you try and explain that to somebody, they won't, they won't take you seriously. They'll be upset and offended by it. Trust me, <laughs> I've tried. People don't like it when I tell them to kill themselves. People don't like it when I say I should kill myself. Because it's just not logical to to the emotional side of our minds. It's logical from an external perspective. When you give it when you're given the evidence, the universe is just matter and energy, entropy. It's gonna die out eventually. Technically, we should kill ourselves. You know? Even on a human scale, you're gonna die eventually, so why not die now? Well, the argument to that is, you can still leave behind a legacy. As an individual human, you can write a book, have a child, discover some, uh, some new field of science. You can do something pretty great in your life and then die. So that's why you continue, because you can achieve something before you die. So you don't just kill yourself straight away. But when you know that what you achieve is going to be gone eventually, Logically, you're supposed to die. I mean, we're also uh, being optimistic uh, in that we reckon there's probably going to be a breakthrough that tells us, hey, guess what? There is a meaning to life after all. You know, if we eventually reach that breakthrough, then anyone who killed themselves would probably regret it if they could. And then, I wrote here on the other hand, there are some people that believe that when they die, there's an afterlife. So they don't view life as pointless. They view it as a uh, as a stepping stone. You know, they, they, they think that they will be eternalized in heaven instead. So they still w want this uh, eternity, this immortality. But they get it in heaven instead. You know, like the uh, the fluffy clouds, the harps everywhere. And, and all that sort of thing, or like uh, the long haul, you know, Valhalla, just any any kind of afterlife, including the hell and shit. But I'm not going into that. There are also people who believe that uh, the um, we get reborn. So instead of there being a heaven, you just get reborn on Earth instead. You know, through reincarnation. Um, and so I'm not saying that those people are wrong because you can't disprove it so you can't say it's wrong uh, but like I said earlier we're just going to assume based on what we know that's provable through science so we break the universe down to being purely its physical properties of like particles and energy and we ignore spirituality and deities because if you include spirituality and deities then the discussion just becomes a different discussion because then it's about what's more important deities or proving that deities exist or not so then you just get to this weird point um, so considering all of that you'd say life is definitely pointless if there's no afterlife no eternalization the universe is gonna die eventually everything is pointless by that logic inarguably pointless by that logic the only point or the only thing that makes it worth living is for the heck of it because it's fun which is 
it's a valid enough reason. You know, we should try and thrive and prosper because life is wonderful and uh, it's amazing. But beyond that sort of uh, kind of like egocentric kind of thinking, a sort of hedonistic thinking, like of self-indulgence, there is no point to continue when you will die eventually. However, if we think of alternate universes as a possibility, the ability to travel to another universe to just get the human species to another universe before this one eventually dies out, to spread to like millions of universes before this one dies out, and just spread out uh, across every single other universe in the uh, sea of universes, the multiverse. I mean, perhaps we already do. You know, not because we've personally traveled to another universe, but just because you have an alternate universe that parallels ours, alternate universe that's slightly like ours, but just a little bit different. You know, there could be millions of those. There could be millions of universes that are the exact same as ours, and there's no difference whatsoever. That's possible, if you give me multiverse theory. But what I'm suggesting is because we think that we're the best, we think we're the universe that should prosper throughout the entire multiverse, we need to try and find a way to travel between universes, well, not between them, you know, even if it's just a one-way, that's fine, because you're going, through, from, uh, going in a one-way trip out of this dying universe to another one until that one is about to die, then you get on to another one until it's about to die. You just keep hopping around, spreading throughout every multiverse, just to just to cling on to that eternity that we so desire as our only purpose, our only way of validating our current existence. Because that's what it is. That's what it would be. If the universe, if the multiverse, which holds all universes in it, it is itself eternal, then we need to achieve that. But then we're back to a question of, is the multiverse eternal? And we don't even know because we can't even prove that there's a multiverse yet. So, is that even a question worth asking? You know, we, we assume, like, one thing after another, we assume this, we assume this, we assume this. We get to a logical conclusion where the multiverse is either eternal or it's not eternal. Uh, and then that makes us wonder, you know, the same questions we had about our universe in the beginning. Is the multiverse eternal? Because... If if it if it isn't if it wasn't eternal, then uh, where did it when did it start? How could it start, or how could it have been before time existed? Is it constrained by time and space? It probably isn't. Probably follows rules that we haven't even begun to consider yet. But this is what I mean. You get to this, such an abstract point in thinking that. You can't really draw any real logical conclusions other than just clinging to that little bit of hope that the multiverse exists and eventually we'll be able to escape this universe before it dies and live out through eternity because we're so important and we deserve to infest every other universe with our human superiority um, just because we don't want to let go and accept that life is really meaningless. We don't want to accept that. We want to always leave a legacy. Uh, but yeah, if, if, the uni if the multiverse eventually dies out, then we're basically definitely unable to live forever unless you believe in a religion that's above that. So that's what I think on this. I would like to hear some other opinions and uh, views. 
yeah, yeah, this is me reaching out to my comment section because we could really get into this on the comment section or like I keep suggesting people make your own videos about this and uh, I'll watch your videos and then respond to your videos because I enjoy, I enjoy responding and having a conversation about this stuff it's more, it's way better than having a one-sided view so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, comment and give us a response if you if you have some opinions on this